The Three Models of the Universe, based on the teachings of Alan Watts. My name is Dustin Dunbar. The universe has been thought and created in two viewpoints for thousands of years. The models are the ceramic model and the fully automatic model of the universe. Now, the ceramic model of the universe is based on the Bible. This ideology has been carried over from Judaism, Islam, and Christian belief. In this model, one sees the world as constructed by God, this intelligent creator that is talked about in the first few chapters of the Bible under Genesis that describes how the world was made. The ceramic model of the universe sees the world how a potter makes pots out of clay. God in this way of thinking forms one or more substances as like these pots formed from clay and God is the creator of our universe and this model has a compassionate creator who knows us deeply and watches each over one of us. Now in the book of Genesis, O Lord God created Adam out of the dust of the earth and bred the life into him. In Christian belief, God made man out of this dust and gave him life. Kind of like this clay figurine all of a sudden becoming alive. In this idea, the world was manufactured by God and our souls were brought into the world. But you can see this monarchical viewpoint of the one is towards like a king. And thus this model does made a lot of sense during the medieval times as a king was made in the image of God. King of King, O Lord of Lords, the God is completely separate form from the world, although he is loving and caring as a father towards his children. He has rules and we must follow them to be rewarded in this eternal bliss. And if we disobey him, we end up in eternal damnation. But people began to question the ceramic model and this gave birth to the fully automatic model of, of the world. The world is still looked and understood as this object, like a clay to pot, but the model now is more looked at as an automatic machine. The laws of nature are present, but with no intervention of God. No boss, no, no ruler, and nobody's looking over us. With this model, you look at the universe as this machine because it's always self-moving according to natural laws. So we began to think of all these natural phenomena as a response to these laws. Now, when science began to take over religion, it became harder for people to believe in the God and in the ceramic model of the world. And so we looked at the universe in the terms of mechanics, something in words like functioning like this clockwise mechanical principles, this Newtonian thinking. As a matter of fact, Newton's whole image of the world is based off of billiards. With the progression of science came the rules of nature. Charles Darwin was one of these key thinkers for this model of the universe. And in this model, we are seen as blind energy and that everything is a series of cause and effect. In this model, there's no evidence of God's work here because everything is pointing to natural selection and evolution. See, in the process of studying the past, we can make predictions of what's going to happen in the future according to this thinking. In science, the model of the universe is functioning to these laws of nature with no God. Why? Because God does not help us make any predictions. Instead, everything is survival of the fittest. And behind the fully automatic model of the universe is this notion that the whole thing is pushed along by this blind and unintelligent force. See, everything in the universe is made or created out of pure chance or pure luck in this model. And you only exist in this body, in this bag of skin. And the only reason you're here is because of a series of random cause and effects that created your environment. It's all just a fluke, a result of pure chance of this creation of life just like this game of dice. I would like to suggest to you another model of the universe, an organic model, which is seen as the universe as this organism. See, in the beginning was God and things were made from it, but God is not this manufacturer suggested in the fully automatic model. And it's not this ruler suggested in the ceramic model. God does not rule like a king and we are those possessions. This is the view of Alan Watts in his talks, in his books, 
and in his lectures. Alan Watts has this famous saying, you didn't come into this world, you came out of it like a wave from an ocean, like a flower that blossomed into fruit, like a tree that has a branch of leaves. See, many scientists believe that we came into the universe from the Big Bang billions of years ago, and the Big Bang flung all the galaxies into space. And for just sake of argument, let's say that happened. Then you and I, watching this video, are looking outside the universe, looking in. You were put here on this planet called Earth, and this big rock called Earth is infested with living organisms, like your body is infested with cells. See, your skin doesn't separate you from the world. It's the bridge that binds you to the external world. This energy is flowing into you and you're flowing into it. So to see yourself as separate from the world, we have this belief that the world is separated. See, we see ourselves as this individual person with our beliefs. And we do this, then we cut ourselves off from the universe. We get this idea from science that life is like this game of pool. And the pool balls do not move until it's struck by the pool stick. And each separate ball is this in this chain reaction with each other. See, we know now that this Newtonian viewpoint doesn't work. This mechanical model had a purpose at one time, but it's breaking down now. We now understand that everything is relative and how we see everything coming together. See, you and God are one, and all things go together. Instead of being separate from the world, the whole world is moving through you, and you are a part of it. See, Alan Watts has a saying that an apple tree apples, just like the universe peoples. We don't come into the world, we come out of it, like a leaf from a tree. See, everything we see, we hear, we touch, and taste comes out from the world. So you see, you're still the Big Bang, but you're not separate as a result of the Big Bang on the edge of the universe. Instead, you are still the process of it. You are the Big Bang, but you're the individual expression of the universe. But the problem here is, you see, you, we haven't been taught to feel that way. See, the myth underlies in our culture, and our common sense has been taken over by how we identify with our universe. And, and instead, what do we do? We confront it. When we believe, in fact, we are part of the world coming forth from it, we are motivated to work with the universe. Realizing the interconnectedness of the whole universe we can see ourselves, the universe, and how the universe works with us. You don't have to force to make your heart beat. You don't make your blood flow. So do, why do we try to force God as this king or this ruler of the universe? Imagine a world that forces nothing. See, nothing in this world is controlled. Instead, it's allowed. We have been tricked to believe that God is something that has to have control over everything. In the organic model of the universe, God trusts everyone in the universe. This is done to let everything happen by your free will. You see, in this model, this does not mean that everything is in chaos, because the more love and liberty God gives you, the more this allows God to surround and allow it to manifest in everyone. See, the, that allows the more order that you will have. You and I are as much of the universe as that wave in the ocean. You might think of yourself as that individual expression, like a wave, but awaken to the idea that you are the ocean and the ocean waves, just like the universe peoples. See, each individual is an expression of the whole process of nature, unique, but one with the universe. You see, our consciousness has been corrupted too long by the teachings of the ceramic model and the fully automatic model of the universe. 
We have been brainwashed to believe these social conventions of thinking we only exist in this body, in this bag of skin. We have been tricked to believe we are not the original Big Bang, but instead we are the series of cause and effects and the result is something sitting at the edge of the universe looking in. When you think like that, you live in fear. This fear is the one like a wave saying, oh no, I'm gonna die when I crash into the ocean. With this thinking, you are a separate wave from the universe, not realizing you're the entire ocean itself. So when you die, you're not gonna have to put up with this everlasting not experience because that is not even experience. Life is about experiences. Life is like cycles in the ocean, moving like a wave. When life is good and going without much of your effort, just like that wave, don't forget to be thankful. Share your love with others and count your blessings and be thankful for the universe allowed this miracle that's called that your life. Remember to open your mind and welcome new opportunities. Learn how to accept your mistakes and remember you are to open your mind and end each day with a grateful heart. See, few people see the world as this physical organism, but clouds, mountains, plants, rivers, animals, they're all organic. The world is this living organism in which we are a part of. We're not the owner, we're not the tenant, we're not the boss of the planet. And to exploit planet Earth is foolish since you're only hurting yourself in that process. The point of your existence is life, and life is this dance of energy that depends on both light and dark. And the moment that we cease to identify with our thinking that we are separate, and we awaken to this idea that we are the whole organism itself. See, you are the universe expressing itself just for a little while. I hope you understand each model of the universe. And now which one resonates with you? Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you found it enlightening, make sure to like it. And please also subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for your time and have a blessed day.